Who says like her isn't cool? Come on. No handed really. <laughs> <laughs>
two years ago, you'd have thought those numbers were crazy. Yeah. But now, <laughs> two years ago, feel crazy. Two years ago, Levy definitely would have talked shit about those numbers on a bike that's made to pedal. They didn't go too far. There's a lot of people that are gonna make great use of these angles and that bike. I mean, especially in places like this or where Casimir lives in Bellingham. Uh, but it's too far for a lot of traditional cross country riders. Where do you see the future of this category going? You've got these bikes, they are kind of pushing the boundaries as far as numbers we've seen on short travel bikes, but mm -hmm. they go again slacker longer, or is this kind of yeah. tapping out? Yeah, so for sure, there's always somebody who's going slacker and longer, but you know, I don't think it's the answer for the majority of cross country riders. I mean, it makes the bike a handful in, in the tricky stuff. I think we're gonna see stuff settling around that 65 degree to 67 degree head angle for downcountry stuff. But saying that, there's always the manufacturers that are offering the outliers, you know. And to wrap it up, I guess let's hit on, were there any surprises in this category, whether that's a bike or a component or anything in particular that's really caught you off guard? You know, sometimes we do these group tests and we get a bike in and it turns out that it is nothing like its numbers and its components and the suspension says that it would be. And we're surprised, but that wasn't the case this time around. Uh, we had a couple bikes that were, they definitely took the more aggressive approach and that was the Spur and the Revel. And we had the other bikes that took a more sort of classic approach to it. And the Specialized Epic Evo, it sort of split the middle there. So to be honest with you, all of them sort of ended up how I expected them to. Not a lot of surprises this time around. So Casimir, you're not here, you're trapped in the States. I know you weren't too super keen on coming up here and wearing Lycra anyway, but if I could box up any of my five bikes and ship them to you, which one would you pick? Oh, I'll take that spur. But I've ridden that bike before and I really do like it, so I'd like to spend more time on it, but yeah. uh, I'd be interested to try that Epic Evo. That looks pretty fun. Yeah, or the Rebel. Sure. They're actually, all these bikes are super interesting. So whatever one you want to put in a box and send down here, I'll ride it. So all right. All right, so that is it for the downcountry bikes in this roundtable discussion. We hope you guys enjoyed our video reviews. Stay tuned for more down the road. Sarah, I think it's time we go do some downcountrying ourselves, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good verb. I like it. All right, Casimir, see you later. Bye.